to another commentary done by Diggity Upper left and corner. We have Jariah starting as the purple Zerg, bottom left and corner. We have Keen starting as the green Zerg. This is going to be on Revolver, and thus far, it has been an intense matchup between these two. Jiraiya thus far up 2-0. Keen needs to pull a win to stay alive. Looks like both Overlords are going to head towards each other, so they're going to know each other's location right off the bat. So more aggressive build orders might have an advantage here. But last game, Jiraiya just sneaking it out by getting an Extractor at the 9 o'clock location. Game 1, it felt like Keen had an advantage. It just it seems like what has happened in both matches thus far is that Keen has managed to sneak an advantage but hasn't been able to close it out. And Jiraiya has found a way to win in the midst of everything. And we'll see if that is going to be able to carry him to victory and to the round of four. Not sure who to favor overall. It is possible Keen could do a reverse sweep here. He's shown that he is capable of winning the matches. But Jiraiya just seems to know how to win. Keen going for the nine pool. He's going to be the open aggressor. And again, having that overlord cross position briefly here will be absolutely amazing for him. Just needs to scout it. So now he has vision. Knows that his opponent's in the upper left-hand corner. Also grabbing Extractor. In the meantime, Jiraiya, this might be a quick win. Jiraiya is positioning for an 11 hatch. And it looks like he is placing an 11 hatch. So this is going to be 11 hatch versus 9 pool. Which is very difficult to fend off. It is possible Jadong's done it. But that's Jadong. And no offense to Jiraiya, but that's, you know, there's a reason they called it JVZ. So Keen, with a huge build order advantage, initial six Zerglings are being produced. And Keen has to feel good about himself floating into this natural expansion. The one advantage is this is Revolver. And so with this ramp, potentially there, I don't know, could be shenanigans here with drone blockades to buy some time. Potentially. I don't know what Jiraiya can do, honestly, aside from just having incredible drone micro. His overlords now see the Zerglings incoming. Spawning pool about halfway finished. Has the extractor up. Honestly, might want to cancel the hatchery and just plop a sunken colony in his main to try to make a game of it. But thus far, looks like he wants to try to defend it just with what he has. The Zerglings can skip the natural expansion, walk right into the main, and go ahead and get additional drone kills. More Zerglings making their way out. Looks like they're going to work on that hatchery, try to force a cancellation. Drones coming off the line to try to defend this. Two drones down. Well, one drone down. The drone's pulling back. Zerglings are being produced now. More are following up. Also keep in mind, Zergling speed is going to be there for Keen in not too long. That is going to make them just more micro-efficient than Jiraiya's units. But there they spawn. More drones down. King currently has the larva lead. He just needs to keep applying the pressure and keep the micro up. Moving his zerglings into a corner. Having a little bit of trouble microing here. Re-engaging. The drones trying to get in this fight. And it looks like the drones have managed to clear that natural. But Jiraiya is down a drone but up a hatchery. He defended it. Wow. But layer to follow. Well played. Six more zerglings being produced. Zergling speed just about, it's, it's a ways off. And Keen can opt to defend, actually, at this stage. He can just put the six Zerglings at his natural, get Mutalisks out, and he will win the game. Jiraiya, in the meantime, producing some Zerglings of his own. Spire on the way, and it looks like this is going to turn into a Keen victory. More drones being fielded by Jiraiya upon the lack of additional pressure. He has to know that he's got to do a turnaround punch through. One drone up. And so let's see if he just continues to produce Zerglings and goes for a quick aggressive win in that regard or if he's going to drop an evolution chamber and try to play a longer game through that matter. Currently up two drones. But again, I don't think it's going to make a difference because I believe Keen is going to have... This is a lot of territory to cover. Jiraiya just scouting, trying to find if there are any drone, sorry, if there are any Zerglings hidden to do a potential run by because he wants to send a lot down and not have that backstab opportunity. The Overlords spot the Zerglings piled up on the ramp. Spire about, what is that, four-eighths, four-fifths, four-fifths, 
finished. Jiraiya just pumping drones in the midst of this. Wants to make sure he can keep that economic pressure up. Keen intelligently dropping Sutton two creep colonies preventatively to potentially get Sutton colonies, knowing that he can win the game on Mutalisks alone. Zerglings now engaging on the exterior wall. Mutalisks in production, about halfway finished. One Sutton colony being created. Keen holding the outer ramp, Overlord overhead. Some Zerglings working on the eggs to try to make this ramp wider for a punch through. Keen actually opening up his front, inviting it in as the Mutalisks are making their way across, having a little bit of trouble microing now. The Zerglings in retreat. Evolution Chamber is down. Creep Colony's being built. And Dry with a huge supply lead all of a sudden. Lair morphing there as well. Dry needs to get a move on with these Mutalisks into the natural and into the main. Get as many drones and overlords and whatever not as possible. One Sutton, sorry, one Spore Colony already up. And now all of a sudden Jiraiya, potentially in a solid defensive position. Keen having trouble microing, does manage to get an overlord that puts Jiraiya in the red, but takes a lot of damage on his Mutalisks in the meantime. The Zerglings from Jiraiya are going to be able to stop Keen from taking an actual expansion. And on top of that, Keen is just down to seven drones, which is going to take a while to do any sort of economic rebuild. A lot of spore colonies in the main. The Spire going up for Jiraiya as well. And all of a sudden, Jiraiya, with the turnaround, he's got 19 drones. 20 drones now. A huge economy. He's well defended. Keen doesn't have enough to punch through this. And the Spire is on the way. The Zerglings have... Pushed out of that natural expansion. Keen looks like he wants to try to just finish it with Zerglings and Mutalisks. The Zerglings are piling around that creep colony. Jiraiya has economy to work with. To go ahead and build a Sunken. I think that is what he's going to do. He's also got a nice SimCity set up. No, a third Spore colony. That could be the deciding factor here. Keen trying to micro against that Evolution Chamber. It is a fight against time here. The Spire, not that far from finishing. If that finishes, Jiraiya is going to have a solid enough economy to just overwhelm. Some drones out of position. That's not where you wanted to be, Battle Drones. We need you on the front mining. A single Zergling chasing that down. Also to get scouting. Sees the additional Zerglings making their way up. So that Zergling sacrifices its life. Mulisks desperately diving down on the Spore Colonies in the meantime. And Keen having trouble controlling his units. Lost two Mutalisks. In the midst of that exchange, the Zerglings now looking to press forward. This is his opportunity to either win or lose. Moving up, trying to micro. Jiraiya doing a good job of fending that back. The drones looking to do offensive sunkens. It looks like they were microed forward for a reason. To try to push these Zerglings into a situation where they've got to engage Mutalisks and everything else. Mutalisks are being produced on the other side of the field. Two Mutas right there trying to work against Zerglings. They're flooding forward, and now Jiraiya has an overwhelming Mutalist force and Zergling force on the ground. And they're keen giving up the GG. Jiraiya sweeps 3-0 in three very crazy ZVZs. Hope to see Keen next season. That is unfortunate. Fun Zerg versus Zerg matches overall. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for listening.